Ladies and gentlemen, what's good? We're back with another Bobby Drags video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Yes, we are in a very different setup. I'm out of town filming for Bobby Talks, and I wasn't really planning to record a video today, but the patch notes just dropped for the new update. So we're going to be going through those and looking at some interesting changes that I wasn't really expecting to see. So drop a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll hop into it. Obviously, we got new stuff coming. Obviously, we got the return of zombies. It is going to be Shino Numa again. I think anybody that's a zombies fan is kind of like, eh, no. Nobody really loved Shino Numa the first time. I think people were looking for something new, so that might be slightly disappointing. They do have the addition of vending machines and operator skills for zombies as well. And we do have Haunted Hacienda, which I actually am kind of looking forward to. But the new weapons, Craig 6 and C4, for those of you who have been watching our COD Mobile China watch parties, those have, well, especially the Craig 6, has completely dominated. So I'm anticipating that's probably going to be the number one option in the upcoming season. Moving on down to the balance changes. So first off, we've got a big buff to the M16. This is one that I think anybody that likes the M16 is looking forward to because it has been the most consistently bad weapon throughout the entire history of Call of Duty Mobile. I think it definitely is in a very big need of buff, so improved damage, multiplier, burst fire rate, and horizontal and vertical recoil reduction. So those are basically all the issues that need to be fixed with the M16. That being said, no guarantee that it's gonna be meta, especially as a three burst AR, it's still gonna be more difficult to use if I had to guess, but hopefully gonna increase the consistency and make it at least semi-viable. Got a buff to the OK24. I don't know why they keep reducing the horizontal recoil. It already doesn't have any horizontal recoil anyway, so. That's interesting as well. Improved ADS movement speed. Moving on, we got a pretty sizable buff to the Type 25 stopping power multiplier buff. Decreased vertical and horizontal recoil and ADS speed penalty is removed for the stopping power magazine as well. Type 25 stopping power may become a new close range option, uh, especially given the fact that the Craig's gonna be the longer range option. Might be able to play a little bit more like an SMG. Moving on, FR556 gets an improved multiplier, ADS speed, and sprint to fire speed. So once again, this is a gun that's been like steadily buffed. If I had to guess, probably gonna be getting a legendary sometime soon. I don't think it's still gonna be anywhere close to the top 10, but once again, mediocre weapons becoming slightly more viable is always nice. ICR getting improved range and improved multiplier as well. That's another weapon that I feel like it's kind of in the same boat as the FR556. All right, moving on, we got CBR4 getting a buff. I don't know what the reason for this could possibly be. Maybe they're bringing back the Mythic CBR again, but we've already had it twice, so I don't know why they would be doing that. Improved multiplier and improved movement speed. Hopefully neither of those are super significant and we can just keep not worrying about the CBR. We also have a really, really big buff to the Holger, so COD Mobile seems pretty dead set on making LMGs meta. We got improved damage, improved range, improved ADS bullet spread, and there's also a BR uh, airdrop holger that will deal more damage than the regular holger as well. So looks like it might be dominant in Battle Royale on that side as well. We got the Hades getting above. Hades does suck right now. So this isn't one that I'm not upset about at all, but improved damage range on the first range, improved ADS accuracy, improved hip fire accuracy, and decreased the long barrel ADS movement speed penalty. So might be a more viable long range weapon once again. We also got a small buff to the Locust, improved sprint fire speed, uh, buff to the MW11, which is decreased recoil, and we got to say RIP to what I think is one of the more balanced ARs that's ever been meta. The Peacekeeper getting decreased range, decreased agile stock ADS movement speed, and decreased firm grip flinch reduction. So if I had to guess, Peacekeeper probably not going to be meta anymore. More than likely the reason this happening, Craig's coming out, and the Craig has to be by far the best AR in the game if it's going to get a Mythic, so that's the reason for that. We do have a buff and nerf to the MSMC. I don't know why the nerf was necessary to go along with it, but improved damage for the buff, decreased range for the nerf. If it's able to three-shot, it would be completely broken. I don't anticipate that'll be the case, but probably a little bit more consistent in its ability to four-shot, which will be nice. We also got a buff to the Outlaw, which I'm a fan of. Improved multiplier, damage adjusted, range adjusted. Don't know what that's going to mean. If I had to guess, probably just going to make it more viable in the close range and uh, maybe hit marker a little bit less when you're playing aggressive. We got a buff to the XPR, which I think is definitely needed as well. Improved damage, decreased vertical recoil, and the range was adjusted, and they buffed the stopping power for better multipliers, removing the vertical recoil penalties, which was honestly one of the massive downsides. So if you can spam the stopping power, it might be really, really strong. Damage at range adjusted as well, and they improved the range in Battle Royale. Uh, BR, the ZRG, got 
a marksman barrel change. I think the marksman barrel ba basically made it hit scan, so probably just gonna slow things down and make it like every other sniper rifle. Uh, for BR classes, rewind, decreased charging speed, pumped, got a decreased skill duration, uh, and then on multiplayer side, only score streaks getting changed, so unfortunately, no nerf to the reactor core or the purifier. I know those are two that people wanted to see, and once again, these are not 100% solidified, so there's still time. Most of the time, if they don't make it into the first version of the patch notes, it's just not happening. Uh, the dragon fire got increased bullet capacity. So I guess you just get more shots with it. Hawk X3 improved damage and range. Goliath got buffed as well, improved fi improved firing damage and improved movement speed. These seem like indirect buffs to persistence because uh, one of the big downsides to persistence is not being able to have all those high value score streaks, but these are all mid range score streaks, which you can still equip with the highest value ones. Seems like an indirect nerf there, although they did decrease the amount of swarm drones that are gonna be sent out with swarm. So that's nice and decrease the score needed to acquire the napalm. So that's gonna wrap things up for our balance changes. Let me know you guys thoughts down below. Uh, I'm pretty excited for the season. Once again, would have been nice to see a purifier and reactor core nerf, but there's still time, so we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one.